Hello, everybody. This is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. Uh, this channel is dedicated to helping you grow your paid channels. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Microsoft ads, um, formerly known as Bing ads. And we're going to be specifically talking about the Microsoft UET tag. Um, that is Universal Event Tracking Tag. Um, this tag is used to track page views. It's used to track conversion actions. Um, it's the equivalent of a Google conversion tag for Bing. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set that up, why it's important, and other things that you can do with this UET tag. For today, we are going to be installing this using Google Tag Manager. Um, if you do not have Google Tag Manager set up on your website, um, I will have a video up here or link down below that will show you how to get Google Tag Manager set up on your website. Um, I'm telling you, if you are hesitant about putting um, Google Tag Manager on your site, uh, now is the time to do it. It just makes everything so much easier in the long run. Um, if you're worried about how to learn Google Tag Manager, um, subscribe to my channel. I have lots of free resources on how to do that. But definitely get Google Tag Manager on your site. It's the way to go um, for the future. And it makes your life a lot easier. So we're going to be showing you how to install that through there. And let's jump right in. So first thing first, if you have an account created, you'll see something like this. If for whatever reason you don't see these uh, menu items right here, you're going to want to click in Tools. And inside of tools, when you click this down, you should see something around here that says switch to expert mode. Um, if you've recently created a Microsoft ads account in the past four or five months, um, they automatically put you into this smart mode, which is something you don't want to be in. You want to switch over to expert mode. So click on the tools gear icon up here and there should be something that says switch to expert mode and we can get you set up from there. Next, um, we're going to be inside of tools. We're going to click on UET tag. And we are going to uh, create a new tag. So I just have a demo tag here that I did for a separate video on how to import uh, Google Ads campaigns into Bing. If you wanna check out that video, I'll link it up below as well. Um, but we're gonna hit uh, create UET tag. And I already have one, so it's just warning me. You already have one, yada, yada, yada. yada. Um, we're gonna create UET, UET tag. We can give this name, so we're gonna call this the real one. Real tag. And I'm going to say this is the live tag for Zoco. Just so I know that this is the one that I actually want to use going forward. You can name this whatever you want and you can give the description whatever you want. It's whatever is going to help you going forward. So we're going to hit save. And now it's going to give us this long string of code and how to um, install the tracking code. But if you are using Google Tag Manager, it is very easy. They've made it very nice. Instead of copying this big, long thing of code, we're actually just going to go right here, get this ID and copy that guy. And then we're going to go over to Google Tag Manager. Um, and we're going to go to, we're going to add a new tag right here. <clears throat> I'm going to call this... <clears throat> UET tag, and then we're going to hit tag configuration and check this out. They have a direct integration with, um, I wonder if they've updated it to Microsoft ads. No, it's still called Bing. So <laughs> uh, it's still called Bing's universal event tracking. Um, in the coming months, this probably will change over to Microsoft. So if you're watching this video and you can't find Bing ads, universal event tracking, try and search for Microsoft ads event tracking and it should be there. So we're going to click this and all we need to do is uh, paste our, oh, there we go, there it goes. So we're pasting the number that we got from right here, this ID, just paste that in there. And then as you see, it, it, uh, it sets up the rest for us. So we have that uh, variable ID all um, automatically put in, into Google Tag Manager. Now for triggers, we want this to fire on all pages. Um, if you're new to Google Tag Manager, all pages should already be set up for the trigger, but if not, you can set that um, trigger up and we're going to hit save. And now that is uh, set up. You can preview the changes if you want, but I feel pretty confident in our setup. So I'm going to hit submit. We're going to call this Bing, or I'm going to call UET tag setup. I can hit type. And we're going to publish. All right, so that has now been published. Uh, the best way to check if the tag is firing correctly is you're going to go to Chrome here. Um, they have the UET tag helper. I'm going to add this to Google Chrome. We're going to add the extension. I'm 
Boom, and then we're gonna go to our website. We're gonna let this load, and now is a great time to uh, remind you, if you find value in this video, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Um, subscribe to hear more on how to grow your paid channels. Um, so now we are on our website, and we are going to go to this Bing UET tag, which it's hiding somewhere around here. You can see all the extensions that I have. Um, bing, 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 bing. There it is, UET. I'm going to pin this. So we have it. We're going to click right here. I'm going to get myself out of the way. We're going to toggle this on. <clears throat> and then we're going to refresh the page. And there it is. So it's telling us the UET tag is set up correctly. The page load event did fire. So we are good. Uh, the UET tag is now firing on all the pages of our website, um, which is what we want. Now that's the first step, right? You have now the tag firing on all the pages, but if you want to fill out, uh, if you want it to fire on a form submission, then you'll this will set that up next. So we're going to go back over to um, Bing. We're done with this now, so we can exit out. All right, and here we are. And as you can see, this is saying it's unverified. This typically takes about 24 hours. As you can see here, it says it can take up to 24 hours to receive the information. We know it's working though because we checked it with the UET um, tag assistant. So that is all good to go. Now, next, we're going to set up the goal conversion action. So we're going to go to tools, and then we're going to go to conversion goals. And as you guessed it, we're going to hit this create conversion goal. And we are going to do this based off of a destination URL. So when somebody fills out one of my forms, that goes to a thank you page. So I'm just going to give this, I'm just going to uh, call this um, confirmation. I'm going to call this thank you page. Thank you page. Um, and then it's going to be a destination because once somebody fills out the form, they're going to hit a, a URL that says like thank dash you or thank you. I'm going to hit next. And um, I'm gonna do contains think. So I'm just doing contains think. I think my URL actually. Let me just test it. www. Okay, so to show you what I mean, here is uh, just a simple test form on my website. I use this to troubleshoot and do other things. Um, I'm just gonna put in my email here, and I'm gonna submit, and you're gonna notice that the URL is gonna change. And we are going to have it change to, I believe it's thank you. Thank dash you. Um, yep, so right here. So we're going to grab this guy. We're going to hit says contains thank dash you. And then come back over to our Bing. And we're going to say contains thank dash you in the URL. The goal category, we are going to call this a uh, 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 submit lead form right there. Um, and then I just want this on my Zoco marketing. I don't want it on all the accounts that are associated with my Bing or with this email for Bing. So I'm going to keep it on Zoco marketing. Um, revenue value, you can assign this a revenue value if you're checking e-commerce or if your leads do have a, a monetary value. Um, for this, um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to assign a goal value or conversion action um, value. Next, we have uh, how we'd like to count our uh, conversions. So I'm going to leave it as is because I don't want, if someone's filling out multiple lead forms, I don't want that to, or I want it to, sorry, I'm going to change this to unique because I want only one lead to fire for whatever reason somebody fills out three or four forms. Conversion window, I would leave this as default. If for whatever reason you did want to change it to a higher conversion window, you could do that. Go through here, you can do this uh, view through window up to 30 days. I don't recommend going much higher than, than the, what's recommended right there. But if you want to, you could. Um, we want to include these in the conversion column. The reason you wouldn't do this is if you had like a micro um, uh, goal that you were you were tracking. I'm not going to get into too much detail on that, but just leave this check for now for for 90% of the people. Um, demo tag or UTE tag. So this is important. So I want to, as you meant, as you saw, I had that demo tag that I had in my account before, but I created the real tag. Um, so I'm going to make sure it's associated with that one right there because that's the one that's on our website. And um, this is telling me um, to make sure the tag is on my website, which I know it is. We're going to hit save. 
and for some reason it did not save. Where's our error? Oh, I got to select one of these. Sorry, uh, do not assign a value. So click one of these for whatever reason. Um, for me, like I said, because it's lead, I'm going to do do not design a value. And we're going to save. And here we have it, our thank you page conversion. Um, it's saying the tracking status, no recent conversions. Uh, that's because we haven't had any in the past 24 hours. Typically, this takes about 24 hours to update. If for whatever reason you um, come back and it's still not firing, they have a, some tips on how to troubleshoot, how to get unverified, or if it's unverified or no recent conversions, recording conversions and tag in, uh, inactivity. So follow these steps if you come back after 24 hours and you know that you've had conversions but you don't see any there. Uh, but I hope you found this video uh, helpful. We'll see you in the next one.